So um, you guys do work with churches, businesses. You guys have done work with uh, Las Vegas casinos. Um, and you have, I mean, you, the full gamut, everything from websites to um, theming for rooms, uh, a complete branding in mm -hmm. a sense. With so many people working for you that are creative, and mm -hmm. creatives, um, there's the perception that they're flaky mm -hmm. and not very productive. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think a lot of creatives have bought into that. Mm -hmm. And so therefore it's okay for us to be flaky. How do you take all of these creatives and make them incredibly productive? Yeah, uh, you know, I think it goes back to your definition of creative mm -hmm. and kind of understanding that uh, it, uh, we're talking about a, a, a church culture too. Sure. Yeah, um, exactly. Our definition of creativity, the bar is so low. Mm. Um, you know, uh, I think one of my favorite definitions of creativity is divergent ideas of value. You know, not different ideas right. just for different ideas. And we think that, hey man, if we just do this, because we've never done it on a Sunday before, you know, you roll yeah. something crazy onto stage, um, you know, all of a sudden that's creative. And you know that's 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 interesting, uh, but when we look at culturally what's relevant, it's like to to people outside. You know they're going to different theater events and all these other things. Sure. Um, they see stuff like that and they see things of shock value. But but the idea of creativity as a discipline is something that's really been lost. Sure. I think Walt Disney you know had a huge say in that. But even like when you go back even further, um, what we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. with uh, you know Scripsarian font. Um, you know, that was the foundation of modern calligraphy. Mm -hmm. You know, it was made by uh, Pot Roger Spencer um, when he was 12 years old. Wow, and okay. by the time he was 15, he was traveling the country teaching schoolhouse children how to write. Every kid in school learned how to write. Yeah. So my wife's grandfather, who was a construction worker, had immaculate penmanship. Sure. Because, you know, there was no whiteout, there was no undo or rewind. Mm -hmm. But before the advent of the typewriter, everyone knew how to write in this amazing handwriting sure you know from the Declaration of Independence to the Constitution yeah. all these old papers were all done by people who were farmers um, mainly anyone who wanted to be in the business world if they had to keep a ledger they had to learn how to write they had to be, have that discipline right. and that's the whole thing of modern creativity in the last 50 years specifically it's like about, about expressing our feelings and sure. moral relatives and all the stuff but even with creatives it's like oh um, what's in, uh, what's I was talking about that artist Jake Weidman I think it's so funny because he got rejected from art school Really? And he brought this bent of, of discipline to it that they were like, no, you need to express yourself more or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm probably butchering the story. But, um, but yeah, I, you know, I have an art background and stuff and a lot of it was about expressing my own feelings. Uh -huh. And really what we do at Plain Joe, it's, it's not about our own indulgence. The reason why we call ourselves Plain Joe is because it's the idea of, you know, one of my favorite quotes you know, from Harry Truman is, it's amazing what you can accomplish when you don't care who gets credit. Mm. And when Mike Foster came up with the name of Plain Joe, he was like, you know, it's not about us, it's about who do we want to reach, that everyday average Joe, right. that Plain Jane. You know, um, and our name reminds us of that every day. So even though we might be really creative, we like to express ourselves using different mediums and stuff, it's not about us. It's about our ability to connect with that audience. Right. And it, it takes discipline to get there. Uh, it takes deadlines, it takes budgets. And budgets right. isn't just money, it's, it's time, um, mm -hmm. it's resources, it, you know, it's, it's manpower. Sure. Um, I, I, we pretty much don't take the excuse since you're a creative, you can't live on a deadline. I mean, we've had creatives roll in before and go, oh, you know, is a chair really a chair? So yeah. <laughs> what does the timeline mean? Is the world really gonna end if we don't have this in on time? Right, yeah. and, and to get them to understand that, you know, well, if you don't get it in on time, it's gonna cost rush fees, it's gonna cost sure. you miss this thing. And the whole experience that we're building up to is lost. Right. Um, and, and that's why we kind of get so diverse into what we do. Mm -hmm. it, it's not about just doing a brochure or a website. It's this holistic story, the, the arc of the story that we're trying to tie together right. using these dis different disciplines. So for us, um, if you're creative, um, in our group, you're gonna be disciplined. Right. I mean, you know, disciplined in, in, in delivering on time, disciplined in your research, in how you pull designs together. Right. Um, like, we're not one of those willy-nilly groups where it's like, hey, come up with 50 ideas and we'll let them pick. I mean, we'll do that internally, and we pretty much will present one or two strong ideas that are really well baked. Sure, it's kind of sure. like going up to like a master chef and saying, hey, you know, give me eight things and I'll try it out. <laughs> it's right, just like right. insane, if you have Wolfgang Puck, he's gonna make you dinner. You're not gonna sit there and go, oh, you know, make a pizza and, and make a hamburger and I'll take a bite and then I'll decide yeah, which yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll yeah. see.